This is Jamie Markey. She has worked at Funimation for many years, both as a voice actress and a scriptwriter for many anime. In 2015, she and fellow scriptwriter Tyson Reinhardt caused substantial controversy with the release of Prison School's simulcast English dub. Specifically in Episode 7, Markey's character mentioned Gamergate, a hashtag used by gamers to voice their displeasure at the dishonest gaming media, as well as the censorship and politicization of video games at the hands of feminist and social justice warriors. Gamergate was never mentioned in the Japanese dub, nor the original source material. The resulting backlash and boycott from Gamergate supporters, their opponents, and ordinary anime fans caused Funimation to change the line back to how it should have been in the first place. At the time, Jamie Markey took it upon herself to play the victim in this situation. By claiming because she is a woman, Gamergate supporters and anime fans were going after her the most harshly. In actuality, having personally witnessed events transpiring at this time, what happened was her name came up first as the one being responsible for the Gamergate creep shows line, before it was quickly discovered that Tyson Reinhardt wrote the script, followed by her approving it. Now, it appears Jamie Markey has taken a more active role in inserting her personal politics into anime. As both scriptwriter and the voice of Lukoa, Markey decided to add in three examples of feminist talking points into the English dub script of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, specifically in episodes 1, 2, and 12. Kobayashi, you're right, she's just your basic cosplay maid! It's cultural appropriation, but without any culture! Okay, pretty sure you're making a mistake. Don't slut shame me! Okay. What are you wearing that for? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. Give it a week, they'll be begging you to change back. The original Japanese dub did not make any references to cultural appropriation, slut shaming, nor patriarchy and societal standards towards women. いや、なんか誤解してない。インガンって。Jamie Markey has made it very clear that she has an agenda, a feminist agenda, influencing her work as a scriptwriter. This is the second time Funimation has allowed her personal politics to interfere and completely alter her work to whatever she pleases. With this in mind, I am calling for a boycott of Funimation's DVD and Blu-ray release of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid when it eventually comes out. However, I would like to make perfectly clear the specific reasons I am boycotting. 1. I am NOT advocating for Jamie Markey to be fired from Funimation due to her political and feminist beliefs. As an American citizen, she has the right to freedom of speech, as do all her fellow countrymen. If she is to be fired, it should be because she has proven herself to not be willing to do her job properly, but is instead using it to insert her political beliefs into anime where they do not belong. As a script writer, she is not suitable for the position. 2. I am boycotting the anime's DVD and Blu-ray release because I believe the entire point of an English dub is to be as accurate as possible to the Japanese dub, taking into account any issues that might arise due to structural differences between the two languages. Politics should not play a role in how the localization process is conducted, whether I personally agree with that person's politics or not. 3. Lastly, I am boycotting because I believe, just like in 2015, we can make our voices heard again, and tell Funimation loudly and clearly why we do not want politics inserted into the anime we buy. Anime is a medium where the creators of the show tell the story they want, and I believe regardless of your preferences, we as consumers deserve to have the same experience as those we either disagree with or those who do not share our native language. If you would like to make your voice heard, please contact Funimation in an email on their contact page, explaining why you do not intend to purchase Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid until they change the script back to the closest representation of what the characters were saying in Japanese as possible. Be sure to choose feedback when asked for the reason you're contacting them. In the description down below, I will provide an email template I wrote that you are free to use. Whether you choose to use it or not, please be sure to be as polite as possible. This is an opportunity to make your voices heard. Make it count.